Another example of analytics in action. This is from the UN Women's Initiative. Um, so written by uh, someone who's the original gender statistics specialist um, for a, a group within UN Women. Um, so she's starting with the point of view. Um, but let's look at what she is uh, saying here on why gender statistics are important. So what is gender statistics? Gender statistics is getting the information from both men and women. Um, in general, it's called gender disaggregation or sex disaggregation, um, but it can be more than that. And the key thing here is often who answers questions on surveys. Um, it tends to be things like head of household, and as we've, uh, in a lot of countries is the man, um, and their results are not representative of uh, maybe the women in the household. Um, for example, there's a study done in Sweden on which roads are primarily used, and um, they were going to use that information to determine which streets to plow first. And the information came back that the main roads that were used were the highways and the main thoroughfares. Um, and so that was the, the public policy. Uh, and another group came and looked at the same data and said, well, if you separate out men and women, you'll see a very distinct pattern that men tend to be on those main freeways, but women um, are often going multiple places um, and on smaller streets and the, have more difficulty in the snow because those streets are not being cleared. And so based on this gender disaggregated data, they decided to um, make sure that they were clearing those smaller streets uh, for the women to be able to make uh, their travels. There are a bunch of overall goals that the UN is trying to promote. Um, one of them is gender equality. Um, but in general, the UN has lots of development goals that they're uh, trying to push forward. Um, this is very difficult to read. Uh, so there, these are like, that's, uh, you can Google what that means. Um, so that's unique to women, but often the, the problem is things just stop there. Um, and what we need to get to is more general um, stuff. Uh, right, so this is about um, reliance on solid fuels by region. Um, so you don't get a perspective here of who's answering it, um, but you're missing out. Um, so when you start to bring in this kind of information and cut and slice your data one way or another, you can often find new patterns um, that were not enough to bubble up in the um, overall survey, but are still statistically significant as a smaller subset. Um, and while we're looking at here in a public policy context, that same applies for a business context. If you are trying to find a group um, maybe is more niche or has more specific interests than the overall group, a main, main highlight of a survey may not capture that, but if you slice the data and look specifically at a group of interest, then you might find um, a population that would be a group that you could market to or try and recruit or um, treat uh, differently for your business. So this is looking at um, living in extreme poverty, uh, separated out by men and women. Overall, the trend is similar, but not the same. Literacy rate um, for, uh, this is girls, um, it's difficult to read these, but uh, you've got all women, um, the poorest women, the richest women, and then men in here too. This is just really bringing up the fact that we need to look at specific subgroups in order to find the um, areas of interest. Um, and no, no one can
can read that. Let me put, this is all the graph we've seen before. It's called a spider graph or um, a radar chart, trying to show how different groups um, compare in multiple um, dimensions. This is looking at how many countries um, or, or what regions collect this kind of information. Um, the UN relies on the member countries to gather information and then feed it up, but um, not all countries do. And there's a clear gap here in um, data being reported from Asia Pacific. And finally, they have some proposals that on um, why they think this is important and what to do next. So just a, a brief look at gender desegregation um, and how this is used uh, for analytics and action.